Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our post-match press conference calling the game against ATK Mohan. With me is head coach uh, Des Buckingham. Close open. You can ask your question. Coach, congrats first, and I'm Munal Kumar Kalu, sir. What actually when you went ahead in the first half and then suddenly in the second half you lost the control? I mean, that after that, I that point, Mungala and ATK Mohan may score goals and maybe that. No, I thought first half we were very good. Sorry. Good evening first. Um, I thought first half I thought we were extremely good. Um, for me we probably could have scored four, four or five goals. Um, but I'd say the same about ATK in the second half. When you talk about a game, a game of football being two halves, it certainly was that this evening. Um, First half, we obviously got the goal, uh, very, very well taken goal by again Chante, it was in excellent form. Um, and then second half, uh, it was about trying to manage the game. Um, the pleasing thing for me was, I don't think we played particularly poor in the second half. I thought ATK played, played well and they tried different ways to try and get an equaliser and I'm sure go on to win the game. But the pleasing thing for me was, I think in the last 13 games we've talked about how we play with the ball and some of the football we played, which I, I certainly see in the first half. If we want to be successful and build this club, it's not just what we do with the ball. Uh, what we do out, without the ball and out of possession, how they work, how we sit in a, a defensive unit uh, is very important um, and will be very important, not just tonight, but will be very important going forwards for the final six games of the, the season. So I'm very happy with, firstly, the first half performance, secondly, the defensive setup that we had in the second half, and thirdly, to come here against a very good ATK Mombagan side and to leave with three points. Uh, it's a big, uh, big achievement for everybody. I'd like to say hard work, um, hard work from the players firstly, um, what they do, you know, you, we, people only see what happens on the TV, uh, you, you can only control so much sometimes, you know, so you can do everything you, you want to do as, as, and as well as you can, but sometimes football can be quite cruel and you know, an opportunity for an opposition may cost the result. But it's been a lot of hard work. It's been about trying to set some standards around how we want to do what we do. Um, and it's in the players holding each other accountable to those behaviours um, and driving each other daily in training. So it's been that, and that's been a consistent thing now for 15 or 16 months since I've been here. It's something we need to continue getting better at. There's a lot more work we need to do. Um, uh, but again, if we can just keep trying to add components to our game, which I think tonight we've we start to show that we can defensively. Um, there's a long way to go, but uh, I'm very happy with where we are right now. Yeah, just as, I mean, when we brought him here, uh, he, he's still the same type of player he was. He's very skillful, he's intelligent, he sits the game. Um, all we've done is we brought him in, brought him in last January. Uh, it took him sort of six months to adapt to our environment and sort of what we were expecting of him in the final third. And then it's again him, he's worked extremely hard to understand what that role looks like. He's worked extremely hard to understand the relationships with the players he has around him. Because if you can use the players around you, uh, I think he's finding you know, space for himself, he's finding space for others, and he's creating chances for both. Uh, but it's been down to a lot of hard work. There's stuff that happens off the field, one-on-one -on -one with him, uh, with the coaching staff. Uh, and he is someone that, you know, you talk about being a professional footballer. Um, I've worked in many places around the world, and he certainly holds himself to very high standards and what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, it's... It's great to see, you know, him as one, but you know, there's, there's many others that are this, this, this season have really started to perform, but it's really pleasing, especially for him, because we brought him here knowing what we thought he could do, and he's now starting to show that consistently. No, no, we've got six more games. Six? Six. Six more, yeah. 
We've got six more games. Uh, we play North East at home on Thursday. Uh, they've obviously had a change of coach and they've brought in some new players. So we actually, me and the assistant coach Hiroshi Mizawa, we'll fly to North East tomorrow to watch that game in person. To be ready and prepared as we can be because whether it's North East or it's ATK Monbegan or any of the other challenges we've had, we know if we don't prepare as well as we need to, regardless, those six games are all going to be very tricky in their own right. And uh, we'll do as much as we can, the same way we have for the last 14, to put ourselves in the best position. And then come game day, we hope that we perform and the result falls our way. Fuba, this is his sort of breakout season, I suppose. He's been involved in the ISL for a long time. The first appearance he made was in the penalty shootout win when the club went on to win the double. But he's been very patient and he's worked with a good goalkeeping group and good goalkeeping coaches. And he's been patient and waiting for his opportunity. You know, when I think he's 24 now. Um, and when he's got his opportunity, he's taken it. And it's the same as all the other players. If you perform, you stay in. Uh, and he's, he's pushed on a daily basis by Navas. He's pushed on a daily basis with Bascar and, and young Ahan, who we've brought in now. Um, and if he can keep performing the way he is, I agree with you. I think he's made saves in games in the last couple of games where we've gone on to maybe win three goals, four goals. But he makes a save at nil-nil, which is very important and doesn't get talked about. It, it gets talked about with us and with his goalkeeping group. But again, he's another one that is taking his opportunity and he's performing well. And if, again, we want to be successful this year, um, it's important that he continues to do that. Any other questions? Uh, well, you pointed out that, that, that when I asked you, you said that you were happy to get 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 to yeah, if you want to win games of football, I mean, I, I said about winning the game 5-4, <laughs> you know, we've won 1-0 tonight. Um, we knew last year we conceded too many goals and you don't, you know, if you go a goal down or two goals down, it's very difficult to try and manage the game in, in a way. So what's pleasing so far is we knew that was an area that we needed to really work on. And I'm pleased for two reasons. One, we've scored now 41 goals in 14 games, which is, which is very good. Um, but I think we've conceded 13 in 14 games. So defensively, you need both. If you want to be successful and sustain success in terms of pushing on for the rest of the season, not conceding goals is, is very important. And I agree with you. I think that that's a big improvement so far from what last year was. But again, we still have six more games. And the other six teams will be doing as much as they can, I'm sure, to uh, score past us. Questions? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.